Like a moth to a flame, it pulls the same. Next thing we know, we're in a now bear's den. Tomorrow, I know it all begins again. But where we're needed, we will go. And I'll go. Hello everyone, I'm Adam with Demiplane, and thank you for joining us for another episode of Heroes of the Plains. We are here with this incredible cast. We're going to let them introduce themselves in just a little while, but a little bit of business first. I want to call out some great sponsors for our stream tonight. First of all, we have returning idol champions and you can get an electrum chest code somewhere i don't know it's on one side and like down or something from where i am right now but you can check out that code on uh on your screen and it's also going to be in chat there and grab that chest so thank you idol champions we also have talon and claw who makes really really finely crafted wooden dice accessories and game accessories so check out talon and claw and a little bit later tonight i think this is let me do time zone conversion in my head i think it's going to be somewhere around 7 p.m pacific so i'll let you reconvert that into your time zone uh we're going to have a giveaway open up where you can go to our twitter account and post and follow the instructions of what's going on in that tweet to have a chance to win a really really cool dice vault so keep your eyes peeled for that as well and also we have sirenscape music and sound going on tonight because epic games need epic sound thank you sirenscape for that and where we can play as long as we possibly can tonight i'm going to turn it over to todd for the rest of it yeah, hello everyone. Thank you for coming back for the show. We're super excited. I'd like everyone to introduce themselves. I want to see B Dave just mess them up. I'm going to say to Lauren. Lauren Urban, who are you playing today? Hi, I'm Lauren Urban. I'm playing Orc Orcura Eldrex, the Dragonborn cleric who's really just wants some of that shake that Freely has. Uh, did you save me some? Did you bring me one? Oh, oh uh, I might have. I might have finished this one, but I, I can mix another one. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah, because I'm really thirsty. Megan Kenrick, who are you playing? Hello, everybody. I am playing your friendly neighborhood vampiric speedster. I am a, a dampier wizard. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out how to make the best Bloody Mary on this plane of existence. And all planes of existence. Yes. Uh, B. Dave Eventually. Walters, the, the sayer of things. I, I didn't I didn't even know that they had Bloody Marys on this plane of existence. So you might have like one by default by just like giving it a shot. It's the best. Uh, but I guess they not. do now. <laughs> That also means it's the worst, also. Oh, there's that. Uh, B. Dave yeah. Walters, I do, in fact, say words about things. Uh, I'm playing Freely, uh, the Lucky Halfling, who is uh, almost every class that's available. <laughs> <laughs> almost. We'll get there. <laughs> Adam Bradford? I am Adam Bradford, and I am playing Briv Steel Marrow. Briv the Bold, Briv the Beautiful, Briv the Bountiful, Briv the Bouncer. Briv I I'll stop right there. Hope Lavelle. Hi, I'm Hope Lavelle, and I'm playing Penelope Halfpint, your friendly uh, mark of hospitality, halfling druid circle of the moon. <laughs> Jen Kretschmer. Silenced. Oh. Yep. Hello. Yep. There you are. <laughs> I, am I am playing Alindra Sarbrand, your uh, wizard, your uh, wizard cleric diviner, uh, knowledge cleric, um, with some friends, Griffin Grant, um, doing the things and being a little out of it <laughs> today, apparently. 
and we find ourselves in a very precarious situation. I don't. I'm the dungeon master. I'm in a great position. You you all are in trouble, uh, as you should be. You recently Thanks, came aboard. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> you all came aboard uh, Storm Herald, your old flying castle that you have spent so much time on, as Lauren Urban knows. Uh, <laughs> but it has it suddenly resurfaced, ha having been taken over by elithids that had also been attacked by renegade elithids. It's not clear who had taken over Storm Herald, but all of them had been in some kind of fight, some kind of war, and had killed each other. At this point, however, they had gone to several different planes of existence using Storm Herald, something that the Flying Castle has never ever been able to do before, but because of some elithid technology, it can do now. However, uh, you found that they went to the negative material plane, or the, the plane of negativity, whatever you want to say. Uh, it killed... Death Void. Death Void is great. Um, <laughs> so they went to Death Void, and everything became undead instantaneously as it's, as their souls were torn out. Or Carrie Eldrex did talk to one of them, and we found out that Elithids have a sphincter with teeth for a mouth, and it explained the situation to all of you. Then you'd press the button a symbol very famous to Alindra specifically of an Ouroboros and you fell, found yourselves in Asgard surrounded by soldiers in gleaming silver and gold and that is where you find yourselves right now we're not in initiative or anything are we? no I'm just going to go ahead and mislead um <laughs> just <laughs> I'm just gonna make an illusory double of myself and just move a hundred feet behind who is standing in front of us right now. And what does Miss Lee do? Uh, I become invisible. It creates a double of myself. So my physical self is still standing with my friends, but I have um, a, a double illusory uh, version of myself who moves twice my walking speed. Okay. Um, I have to concentrate on this up to one hour. So there's like a inner white lid of my eyes that kind of close. And I stand perfectly still behind one of my friends as this double runs forth behind the Asgardian soldiers. Okay. Uh, and sorry, checking something on my end real quick. Uh, what is, so do you hide somewhere while you're invisible? I How long are you invisible again? Uh, I can concentrate up to one hour. I'm currently standing behind Orkira. I I picked the friend that has the widest wingspan. So we mentioned that has a wingspan. <laughs> <laughs> There's only the one, one that has a wingspan. Yes. Okay. I mean, <laughs> counting the wings, definitely Orkira. Yeah. All right. All right. Orkira uh, grimaces a little bit, but then also like shrugs, and her wings just fluff out a little bit more. Yeah, if you're uh, not opposed, you can actually see the footprints of <laughs> Whittle just kind of slowly slinking back behind you, Orkira. <laughs> you see these little tiny little vampire footprints. I think she just feels the the cold behind her and is uh, uncomfortable but willing. Okay. <laughs> you just hear a quick, thanks, Orkira, and then doop, 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 as she trots forth. Oh, if you're hearing something, I apologize. You might hear my AC coming on. I'll turn it <laughs> off right after this. Um, the the noise gate is a fickle thing. Um, <laughs> freely, uh, uh, the folk hero, he's a halfling of the people. So uh, he very much like steps forward, like just kind of rests his hand on the hilt of his sword and says, uh, hello, friends. Uh, I don't really know uh, where, where As Asgard is, but apparently we're here. Uh, by the way, do you have any like giant snakes that are eating their tail? Because I got some money writing that there's just like a big old snack here somewhere. We we don't. Did uh, thou say snack? No, snack. Like snack, 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 snake, snake. Anyway, does it, this does, this doesn't mean anything to you? And I summon the minor illusion of the Ouroboros. Are you here to meet with that? Wow. I mean, is it, is it, is that a trick question? Yes. Then no. So everyone's so, going to stay on this what, fortress, if that's okay for now. What do I know about this 
place, this this law, anything? Is there any symbol that I recognize? You see a lot of symbols that seem somewhat uh, on their armor. Almost all of them have the symbol of the world tree, Idrisil, uh, intricately woven into their armor. Um, this armor is ancient looking. It makes anything that you've ever seen before seem kind of shoddy and, and useless. And they are all about a foot taller than most humanoids probably would be. Uh, they, you, you, you just get the sense that this is a very old place. You can even hear the sound of uh, glaciers cracking in the distance. Or maybe it's thunder. You're not quite sure which. Is so, there anything that I know about Yggdrasil? Uh, you've heard of the world tree, certainly, uh, before the concept of the world tree and that the entire multiverse somehow hangs upon it. Uh, but yeah, you've not seen soldiers that specifically have Idrisil marked on their armor. That seems rather unusual for soldiers themselves. Uh, if there's one person I know that is a tree expert, it is Penelope. Look, Penelope is tree people. Maybe like, I don't know, can, like... Is there... <laughs> They seem, they seem to be into what you're into. Look how tall they are. They've all got trees on them. Wow, this is amazing. That's all. Okay, so uh, can we all agree that none of you will leave your flying castle as the last time it was here, we had to kill everything on it? I am Brib Steel Marrow, and I shall go wherever I do please. Briv, would you please stay here with us? It pleases me to do so, therefore I shall stay here upon the flying castle. Thank you. I'll motion to the the person that was talking to us and say, that's actually why we're here, though. We're kind of backtracking this where this place was because apparently the people who were flying this place around before us were doing really bad things. And so we're kind of backtracking, trying to fix it. Yeah, I'm... I'm just going to get my supervisor, if that's all right with you. So, uh, yeah, we will be back. And we'll be here. you see Please. these flying kind of like spell jammery, like half nautiloid skiffs, and they get on top of uh, onto one of them, jumping uh. off of Storm Herald slightly. They're not like in, with tentacles and anything like that, but they are some kind of flying device. Is this the plane of bureaucracy? Wow. He has to speak to his Why supervisor. I've, I've been to the hells. They didn't look like this. I mean, supervisor sounds better than some of the other things that have attacked us. So, I mean, if they're going to talk. Executioner. Uh, warlord. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's it's a, a poor idea to, to find out as much as we can about this place. Um, their, their armor was strangely crafted. It was particularly ancient and unlike anything I've seen before. But. Well, you've been looking for this place for a long time, so I tell you what, if you want us to get all stabby, just like tug on your ear a little bit. Otherwise, uh, I don't expect to understand anything you're talking about here. I believe we shall use a code word instead because some of us may be behind her and may not see the ear tug. And oh. So I suggest something audible where we can all understand that that is the signal to start slaying everything around us. Maybe it should just be like, get him. Yeah, Will I, I prefer... need a perception check. I prefer me. Franken beans, but no. Who who's given a perception check? Whittle. Oh. I don't I have mean, an I... advantage or anything, do I? You do not. <laughs> For Eight. what it's worth, I have a twenty-one passive. That's no, that I, I gotcha. For what it's worth, I have a 28 passive. This is a situational. For what it's worth. But yeah, I rolled an 8. But I'm not okay. Sure a 28 <laughs> passive. How terrible for you to be completely aware of everything we're doing all the time. Like, yeah, no, it's it's, it's, like, it's, like, party. it's, it's a like, tremendous burden. It's like some of you run off and I have to keep an eye on you or something. <laughs> it's never happened. It's never happened. Uh, yeah. These there's a couple of these skiffs that are flying about, and you do see the Golden City, and specifically, Lindra, you have seen representations of the city before, absolutely, and paintings and others, cave painting paintings even. So it is alarming, and the place looks enormous 
for any civilization. Uh, several Would it minutes be go fair by. To infer that this might be a, something uh, related to the core of the world tree and being the, the base of, of all of those different realities. Or is that Not necessarily the base, but may possibly the center of it. Given that all these myths have been circling around, around and around the, these symbols, this is definitely something that is, at least at best, primordial. Like at, at, at its youngest, primordial. Understood. Can I ask two really dumb questions? Um, I one... have been told many times there are no dumb questions. I've also been uh, informed of that. Okay. Uh, well, hopefully these are not, but, um, one, if these people don't need our help with what the Mind Flayers were doing, why are we here? To see a big old snake in its tail? Well, now that's gonna be my second question. Do we really want to talk to a giant snake? Yeah, Widow <laughs> hears this conversation and her, in her eyelid opens and, and whispers, uh, meanwhile, her illusory double stands still, as if it's in pause mode, and asks, or Kira and Alindra, do you, do you think that it's really worth going in there? Because they seem like they're okay, right? The whole purpose of us coming back here was to make sure that these Mind Flayer or, or Illithids didn't leave any damage in their wake. I mean, they seem like they're doing perfectly fine. We could always come back here in another time. We still got that course but on our ship. that I've spent more than 100 years studying this symbol all across multiple civil oh, civilizations. It was course. appearing everywhere. So this, this is the key to... I'm not Something saying that we, we will never come back here again, but mm. they well, seem a little hostile. How often do we intentionally arrive back where we are trying to go? Oh. I, I would like to take this opportunity if, if we you, can. Alindra, if you want to stay here, that's fine. I'm just checking it. And she goes back to her illusory double. Oh, wait a second. Are you worried that because you're a little, uh, uh that they're going to be not going to let you in? Is that what this is, Whittle? And she comes back to herself. No, that's not the reason. They just seem like they're doing just fine. I want to make sure we're not biting off more than we can chew. They do seem pretty self-capable. Yeah, sure. But, you know, I mean, not everywhere we go has to be for, like, terrible reasons. Like, maybe we just do a vacation. Like, we could just hang out, apparently, at the cradle of multiple civilizations. Also... I heard people are potentially dying at the hands of illithids their brains being sucked through their nostrils and other orifices and dying horrible, gruesome deaths. No, that's a common misconception. I have it on the highest authority that a lithid just wrap their tentacles around the head and just munch right in. It's just, you don't remember this because when I did it in front of all of them, you were unconscious at the time, but uh, it, trust me, it's, it's it not like, fun. yeah, it's not like that. Well, okay, so wait, there are other places where the frost fell, which we went to, which was super cold and I don't want to go back, but it was fine. Um, here, which seems fine, the... Uh, the the bad place that the Illithids went to, and when they left, they were all. You, you saw what they were, which we don't want to go to. What was there any place else? Our options were prime material. To be clear, I, I am fine one. to stay here because I am curious if any of these people can stand against the might of my arm wrestling. Yeah, probably, probably, Bria. Those are some pretty, they're, those are some pretty big people. So uh, also, our, our, I start singing Counter Charm, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> tell me about Counter Charm. Uh, Counter Charm, uh, until I stop singing it, because it is an action, technically, uh, will give advantage against fear and charm effects. Okay, good to know. And yep. our options for planar travel were the negative material, the frost fell, the prime material, the astral, and then this place. I suppose they are calling Asgard. Yeah, and everything else except the prime material sounded really bad. And the prime material is kind of a big place, so... I mean, if they're nice and... Alindra wants to stay here. Maybe we stay here for a little bit I, so I'm she can at least... I'm not here. We stay here forever. Mm -hmm. I just like to know what, what this is. is if, if everything that I've researched for years leads to this... Yeah, if we all what, think what that we is. can talk our way in, I'm fine with this. Oh, they yeah. just seem like they're real hostile right now. Uh, well, just in, in general, getting in places is never the hard part. It's the getting out of the places afterwards. That's where mm -hmm. we tend to run into wrinkles. Also, in fairness, the last time they saw Storm Herald, it was covered in illithids who were 
apparently doing bad things. So I don't blame them for being nervous. Valid. Mm. Um, do we see a gigantic tree anywhere? You said a big golden city. Do we see a huge tree? Uh, it is a strangeness. Like if you, when you, n- now when you look into the distance, you do see like atmosphere and air and clouds, but you feel like you kind of see the silhouette of a massive tree all around you. Do I see any birds flying? <laughs> What's your passive perception? <laughs> oh, not significant. Uh, oh, 15. 15, it's not awful. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, you're you know, aware of... half of Arcaris. You're you're aware of birds, but uh or a carrot, you do see something heading towards Storm Herald very fast. Does it look like one of those skiffs that they on? No. Oh. This what looks humanoid. It? There's a human flying towards us? Humanoid yeah. flying towards us? That is correct. A singular? Yes. Hey, someone's coming this way. Is it a bird? Uh n- maybe? I don't know. Is, is it, it a plane? plane? Existence? Uh, maybe. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> do I see wings on said super. humanoid, or do I, or is this someone with a fly spell, or is this someone on a sh- on a thing? It, it can, <laughs> uh, you're you don't know. <laughs> you don't, you can't tell if it's a fly spell. They're moving pretty fast, and you do hear the sound of thunder rumbling all the way through Storm Herald at this moment. When she says that, I pull out my shield and I draw my meteor sword too, and I'm like, oh, now it's one of our normal uh, welcome crews, I think. I mean, it's only one person. They're coming in really fast, but it's just one person. Uh, mm. Does Does Whittle too see this? <laughs> yes, Whittle too <laughs> also sees this. I'm, I'm pointing it out to everybody at this moment, whether you can see it or not, but I'm going, look up in the sky. A bird. When, I know you, you say they're coming in fast, it's, but we're on a plane. <laughs> that's, aren't we always on a plane of something though? Um, <laughs> uh, but we are up in the sky. We are in the sky this time. Um, as that's close as it gets suit. within a hundred and twenty feet, I want to hit it with message. <laughs> I thought he was about to say Eldritch Blast. I, I mean, know. I'm not about to. <laughs> I was like, Excuse well, me. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> How dare oh. you all just assume because that is exactly I, I, I how I am. I profiled you. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. Or Kira just extends one of her wings to now cover the, uh, the simulacrum of Avery, just in case. <laughs> yeah. Just because just that is precisely who I am doesn't mean Little that's who I am. Moves a little bit more behind the, the other wing. <laughs> uh, uh, the when As soon as it gets within 120, I just say, uh, uh, hello, friend. You're coming in mighty fast. <laughs> that's true and lightning strikes Storm Herald and all of the copper wiring and all the towers kind of electrify for a second as this giant hulking man with giant muscles and scale mail and a long red flowing cloak and a helmet superhero lands right in the middle of Storm Herald. Hey, you're gonna leave a You feel just kind of crack for a second. I mean, if you're into that, like, okay. Um, I thought you were gonna see it a giant red flowing beard. Read your mythology, kids. (laughs) So, uh, how are you all doing? You're freely. Yeah. You seem you... surprised that I've heard of you. Yeah. <laughs> I am surprised that you have heard of him. I'm, I- I'm sorry, who are you? I am Thor. Ah, this is the star! You guys are Thor! And I immediately like sheath my sword and I just walk right up to him and immediately try attempt to like bro hug his calf. <laughs> like, ah, it's Thor! Oh, yes, it's uh, the very warm reception. Uh, must be a cultural thing. You guys know and and you, you, you feel him kind of like flex his calf muscle for you a little bit? It, I mean, I'm like, Griff, you should feel these things. Oh my God. I do not need to feel his. I have some of mine own. Oh, Griff, it's, same, it's okay to feel my calves if you must. I shall not feel thine calves, but um, I shall feel no, it was going into a bad place. I'm going to stop right there. And <laughs> Friend of yes. yours, really? I mean, uh, I mean, I was, I was just okay. All right, so you guys like this, like last little while. Like, I, I was just looking for a way up to Mount Celestia because I figured that'd be like a good place for heroes. And 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 Thor's story was one of the ones I read because Alintra, I do read. Ah, you talk. Ah, and but I didn't know that you'd be here. It's, a, it's okay for you. I get this all the time. 
Uh, yes, and it, uh, I am Thor, the one and only Thor. That's true. I uh, have seen thee in mine comic books. Wait, Good. Yeah. Thou dost look taller in them. Oh, he's one of them. Okay. Well, uh, <laughs> so uh, I've, oh, oh, the dragonborn. Oh, Kira the, uh, Ildrex. Oh, do you know all my friends? Yeah, or, or Kira. Uh, there's yep. Whittle. Just met Whittle. Uh, Briv. There's Penelope. Penelope. Like I, I came across space and time for Penelope. She's really important to me. Uh, Alindra. Uh, Alindra Sarbaran, and another a lot of other names. I'm sorry, Alindra. I'm forgetting your other names. Uh, Thor. Uh, Odinson. There you go. Yeah. No, I've met. Uh, uh, well, not met. I've heard of Alindra. I happened did kind of come across our. Uh, uh, I wouldn't say alert, but certainly we became aware of someone who re was researching a great deal about us. So we do kind of keep an eye on people when they're doing that. And he has, we've heard of, of Whittle as well as Penelope Halfpint. Though I, she, I would she's think shy, though. would be she, better, though. She, she might be doing that bush thing. She's shy. Don't take yeah, it personal, she, Thor. She looks, she looks terrified. Uh, You're very tall. Can, well, can uh, Thor see me behind Orkira right now? He's looking at illusory. Oh. Okay, we're back. We're back. All right. Where did we leave off, chat? <laughs> so, what was the last one. thing you heard? Chat, please inform us what was the last thing you heard so that we can pick up where we left off. No, we were I... not doing anything with the Tesseract. No. <laughs> <laughs> Thought about it. We're, we're, we're asking where we were, not where what you may have missed. Uh, <laughs> Talking about were... Penelope being So it was uh, when, when, we lost, when we lost Penelope. Yeah. Yes. yeah, right. Okay, perfect. Yeah. No, I've, I've heard of all of you. You are the heroes of... Um, you're the beyond... I, 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 we can't really keep track of what you call yourselves, actually. Uh, I think we, it's not a problem. Losing yeah. yeah. conglomeration of, of heroes. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we do a lot of heroing, though. That is all true. We well, try. I'm very happy to finally meet all of you. And, well, and okay. you, um, question, like, what what do we know about Thor? What What is the lore in this world about that Thor? That seems Thor totally lore. made up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, his beard is a blondish red. It depends on how the light hits it. Um, but you've heard of the world tree. You've heard of the world serpent. Um... But this is something either older or younger in your mythology. Either this god is new or this god's just been hiding this entire time. You're not and, quite sure. And just for Orkira's sake, the world serpent, that's different than Dendar, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> just making sure. That's a good thing. We don't, we don't need... No, we don't we need don't another... We don't need Dendar troubles right no. now. No, so, absolutely. uh... <clears throat> Uh, uh, is he still on my calf? Okay. Uh, so... Really? Yeah. You're being a little clingy. I mean... Yeah, but it's Thor. So... I... It's okay. It's fine. Cool, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah. No, he's like a hero god. Okay. Yeah, no problem. No problem. Hmm. So, uh... uh well, not to... Yeah, my soldiers told me you had arrived. We did have to kill a lot of things on this particular flying castle. So you understand that we're a little bit sensitive to anyone coming here because it's forbidden. Yeah, uh, we did. We are, too. We're going to make the exception for all of you, as you are all clearly very heroic and have done great deeds, including the destruction of many worlds as well. Or Carrie Eldrex, very impressive. I wish I could do that. One, maybe two. <laughs> I heard, I heard, I heard too. That's, that's what around the fire we talk about. So that, that one thing where you just burned all the undead on the entire planet. That was, that was pretty cool. I mean, it's mostly the Phoenix. Anyway, you're the supervisor. I don't refer to myself as the supervisor. I think Odin is the supervisor. I mean, he's, he's, he's king. He's the king. Yeah. So, okay. uh, Depends on. I don't know what your parlance is, so it depends on like where you're from. We we do our best to be inclusive. Uh, so yeah, King Odin, uh, Thor, yes. Buddy. Um, I know uh, again, you are unusually tall for a halfling, by the way. Is he okay? 
It, you've just made him <laughs> the happiest halfling on this, this side is, of the plane. This is the greatest day of my life. And as a life philosophy, every day is good. And this is still the best day. I just wanted to say, uh, my friend Alindra has been looking for you for a very long time. I know she's she's coy and I don't want to take her opportunity to ask her questions. Uh, but, <laughs> she's but that's exactly what he is doing. We're, yeah. we're so happy to have you here. Thor, um, and Whittle pulls out a um, glass full of beer for Thor. It says, uh, make, make yourself comfortable. Sorry that uh, the ship looks like uh, how it does. We had some Illithids that took over while I wasn't here. But um, anyways, Alindra has is some things that she'd like to talk to you about. And we, you know, we would really like to hang out with you and... Um, I'm just okay. uh, really humbled to be in your presence. <laughs> well, uh, Thor, sir. Maybe uh, we can just go to my longhouse and uh, just just have a pint and and discuss things, perhaps. And Briv, we of course I've heard quite a bit of you. The, the man with steel bones, uh, very impressive. It's still inside the bones, but I understand that the distinction is hard to make out when the stories are traveling this far and wide. Yes, but we, I've, we've all we've all heard of all of you. Um, Penelope half pint. Is there a way to you me? Of course. Wow. I hope all good things. I've heard nothing bad. Uh, okay. I know that those that protect the world tree are very fond of Penelope half pint. I mean, everyone is really fond of Penelope because it's Penelope. Oh, Jax. How about we go to uh, my home and we have drinks and uh, we discuss matters. <laughs> is there is food? It, is it true? Is it true that uh, up here you guys like spend the whole day fighting and the whole night feasting and then you get to like spend the whole day fighting again? That's actually not true. Uh, oh. We do that in, uh, well, some Valhalla. people call it Valhalla. Some people call it Eastgard, which is odd because this is Asgard and so it it depends on who, where you're coming what? from it and where be you've been. Guard. Or Kira, Akira, yes. I finally believe that we're not dead. Because if we were dead, we'd be we'd be in Valhalla. But we're not in Valhalla, we're in Asgard. And that is not a place for the honored dead. So, wait, what if we're just not honored dead? We're not dead. You're not well, dead. I'm going to say it. I'm going to keep saying it. And eventually, you'll believe me. You are not dead. I mean, I'm technically dead. You're but half wait. dead, and I still need to have a discussion with you about this, but once again, it's a later problem. It's a later Clearly. problem. Okay, okay, yeah. all right, this all right. Okay. Valhaller place, thou dost fight all day long and eat and drink all night long? Yes, of course. Can we visit that place? He's going to um, to the... Requires death, but, uh, mm, so but no. A, but a glorious death. A glorious death. So if I die a glorious death... Yes. I shall end up in this Valhalla. If if you want to go to Valhalla, yes. I don't know what Valhalla is. I'm does sorry. I need a ticket or how does... Bravery is how, the only ticket that you need. I have loads of that. So if that is the requirement, then do I have to just make sure... How do I make sure that I end up in Valhalla instead of a horrible, boring place like Mount Celestia? And don't you have to be an Asgardian to get into Valhalla? Yeah, I understand that uh, Asgardian some kind, sometimes can be hard to pronounce. You know, the, the, w, you know, the, the Y can be an E, but it's Valhalla. <laughs> and yes, when you die, you can make that choice to come to Valhalla and fight forever and drink forever and then wake up the next morning. So but we just can be... to make sure, we I just have to think about it really hard or will there be someone asking me where I want to go or... We can send a, make sure a Valkyrie is sent your way. Very well. I would yeah. like to request a Valkyrie be sent my way when I die a glorious death because I shall certainly die a glorious death. It is just a matter of time and which manner in which it happens. I mean, statistically speaking, I'm gonna die the same time. So yeah, yeah, just, you could send the one to just pick up, pick us both up. That, that'd be great. Don't come okay. too fast because I, I would like to be able to fix that. 
to face. Right, okay, so, to be clear, to for Valhalla, and, but Thou not wouldst deny too me soon. the ability to go and fight all day and drink and eat all night, or kill? No, 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 no. Ne I would never, ever deny you that. But I would give you the choice to not go at that moment. Very well. Because like, we might get killed when we're in the middle of something. So wait, uh, Alindra, sorry, you were trying to answer an important question, and we were kind of nerding out about an incredibly it's, it's awesome right. afterlife. Just, everyone is just immediately convinced that a person who... And this is going to be over over the telepathic bond, and this mm -hmm. is not something I'm going to say publicly, but um, everyone's immediately convinced that the person who approaches us initially and says they are a god is a god. This is just the, the initial instinct we're going with, and we're going to follow them to their home without any question or investigation or i mean look at it or really like felt his calf yeah no that is a god's but calf we've established that the people here are, are, are taller and stronger than we've mostly experienced what would prevent any person coming up well, from us. i mean nothing true? besides literally what happens to us everywhere we've ever gone should like make you think this is anything other than it seems that's all right we'll be fine it's gonna be fine i trust him Excuse us, Thor. Uh, you all can, seem very quiet. We can go to your house, but is it possible we could see the tree first? I can't say it. Yggdrasil, the tree? Yggdrasil, and it's a, it's a bit off limits as we are the guardians of it. We can, I can bring the beer and the food here if that makes everyone feel safer. Oh, huzzah. Wait, where are we standing? Uh, on the courtyard, on the courtyard, of, courtyard. of Storm Herald. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I personally, I vote the Longhouse. I, I haven't mm -hmm. had any gods invite me into their homes. Yeah, me too. I want to see. I want to see this place. This place is so pretty. I think if we're being invited, we should go. All right. It's gonna be our only ticket onto this place. Tis strange to say that I feel the slightest bit of reluctance to go along with this, because Alindra's words did make plenty of sense and Brie was saying that out loud by the way <laughs> and then um and then he goes but i suppose we will go to the long house so has everyone agreed well, Lindra, how can i make you feel better about the situation as you clearly have some uh, concerns well, we've just arrived here and i'm unclear on on where we are what the society is doing, what your function is. I've been tracing research for over a century, and I'm curious as to where it has led me. Well, I am Thor. I feel like we've kind of gone over so that. So you said yes? You, you, right. So uh, I am the god of thunder and lightning. Understood. Thunder. <laughs> it just rubs all around you. Uh, this is Asgard. Uh, we are... Uh, the guardians of the nine realms. Uh, we are the protectors of the world tree. We wait. There are only nine of them. This is not going to take us long at all. Yes. Uh, so, uh, and we've been aware of you, and you are certainly part of one of those realms that we kind of ref we refer to as Midgard. Since Alindra gave us all the heads up that she's just a little wary as Thor is saying all of this, uh, can I do an insight to see, do I think he at least believes what he's saying? Yes, you can absolutely do that. All right. Freely's 100% convinced. She's just giving him <laughs> a look, but she only got an 11. So, you know, it's it's hard to read these as guardians. These are new. <laughs> okay. So, uh, my house then we're all in agreement Brim, Brim is gonna do one more thing here because okay he, he is for the first time probably ever maybe he is kind of in agreement with Alindra right here <laughs> and so he is uh he is kind of uh thinking to himself and he, he's just like all right tis time to at least try it out and you see <laughs> that he comes he walks up to Thor and he's like you know looking up and he's like putting his fingers to his temple and he's like thinking really, really hard. And he's eventually going to eke out a detect thoughts. 
Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Um, a meeting of the minds, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> it's still an intelligence modifier, right? <laughs> uh, well, it's, it's going to be um, this is the tele telepathic feat, um, and and basically it's going to be a wisdom sixteen saving throw. But um, you, I initially learned the surface thoughts of the creature, what is most on its mind in that moment, and then uh, basically if I do this like delve deeper thing. Uh, Thor would get a Wisdom 16 saving throw. And I'm going to keep going as deep as uh, until he resists. Um, so all you really hear is beer, 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 hammer, 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 hammer. <laughs> Do you uh, try to delve deeper? Yes. <laughs> That's pretty, basically. Are you trying? Are they aware if you if if they succeed that you uh, are messing around in there? Either way, the target knows knows you're probing into its mind. Oh yeah. Yes. So, uh, your 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 steel man is trying to get inside my thoughts, and uh, which is not the nicest thing to be doing. Thou dost. Oh, he was just trying to figure out what your hammers. favorite beer is. Perhaps that is unwise to do to a god. That was a god. And also rude. Just rudeness. A wonder makes a note of what's considered common courtesy. A wonder did you teach Briv how to read minds? Or is that Flo? That's oh, new. I worked with Flo this past year, and I picked up some new tricks. And I, Thor, listen, no disrespect intended, I did not know that thou wert a god. Thou didst not say that, that at least I was listening during that. And so I just wanted to make sure that thou wert who thou art saying thou art. And so I feel very satisfied now because all he was thinking about was beer and beer and beer and ale and ale and ale and then hammers lots and lots of hammers yeah but hear me out isn't that exactly what the kind of god guys like you and me would be into would be thinking about all the time i mean think uh, about it brave think about it i don't it. really like hammers they are just so oddly balanced they do not strike as cleanly as a bladed weapon but other than that yes yeah no, it's gonna be fine, you guys. Come on, let's go to his house. It's fine. We've been talking all this time. Look, look at this. We're like literally like in this wonderful place, and we're still on the ship saying words. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Were we instructed to stay on the ship before, but now Thor has asked us to leave it. Thor is not the one who was going. Thor to be was sent. practically or, king or is of Thor the place. Thor, the supervisor. They were. All right, him. enough lightning. Like they cracks around all wait, of wait, you. Just for clarification. Well, yes, that absolutely is, is what was said. Yes. Right. But is Thor the supervisor that was being sent? Or is, that is Thor the someone else you. on this? Okay. Yeah. yeah, when Orkira asked him, are you the supervisor? He just, he waffled a bit on being the supervisor. But yeah, he's the guy who got okay. sent. That was just uh, the clarification I needed. Uh, lightning, we crackle, lightning crackles all around you and kind of consumes all of you for a second. You feel yourselves almost become lightning it, itself, you think, for a moment. And then you appear in this very long house aptly named there are no room room uh, rooms of any kind it's just a long hallway going on and on and on and you see lots of people reveling but there is ale being served there is a main table there is a giant fire pit and there is just tons of meat and vegetables and everything that you could possibly want to eat is this the, the same long house that we saw in Avon stream it is not dissimilar. Hmm. Thor, where dost thou sleep? There are no rooms in this place. I sleep in my room, and that room is not capable of being seen by you. So, I, uh, well, thank you for here, for being, first off, thank you for coming. Uh, thanks for having us. I appreciate that. I, uh, we don't normally let anyone in Asgard, so I think you can understand us being gods. Kind of a rare thing to let people invade our home. And we're not calling you invaders by any means. But 
I, I do need, I would like to request you all being as famous as you are with your famous lore keeper here, Alindra Sabrand, and uh, the famous Penelope Half Pint and the Destroyer of Worlds. I, uh, I'm sorry, I, that clearly makes you uh, upset. It, it just seems really impressive to me, right? So, because uh, we haven't of... called Jormungandr, it's the World Serpent, it's the Eater of Worlds, and it's just, you know, it's that you're kind of on that scale as a tiny person. I, I would have, kind I heard, of have I heard anything about that in the lore? Jormungandr? About Jormungandr? Oh, yeah. What do, what do I know? You, this, it, you, you've always gotten the sense that Jormungandr is a, it's a bit odd because there's like terrible things said about Jormungandr, but also it just shows up over and over again. Um, It's the one symbol that is continuous, and it is mainly the symbol that is a full circle. So, uh, uh, you all being here, I have something I need, and I think you having your scenario with your what? What, what do you call your home? The Storm Herald. Oh well, that's. I like that name. That's a good name. Yes, we'll do it, Thor. Okay. Good. Um, I'm glad we agree. We find out what we the still is, need is to says? know what it is. Well, well uh, <laughs> I mean, like, well, I, I suppose we refer like slightly more information so we can make sure that we do the thing. But yeah, no, it's just the I answer. mean, freely. Yeah. What if he asks us to go slay this Gorgoner or something? But it's it, going to be. Wait a second. Excuse me. We're talking about who is and who they're supposed to be. I've never known the real Briv Steel Mirror to back down from a fight. How do I know somebody hasn't gotten to you, Briv, if that is your real name? And then I am going to telepathically say, <laughs> I am Briv the Bold, Briv the Beautiful, and I'm going through about 52 names. Okay, yes. But yes, Thor, what is it that we need to do so we're super going to do it, though? But yes, what? While they're talking to Thor, uh, Whittle is going to run to the, the back of the longhouse, and she's just looking for a place to sit as far away from the group as she can to just to possibly ask people about Thor. I don't. I don't know if they're within earshot of where the group is, but she's just. She's kind of. She's kind of curious herself if this is the real Thor, and if they're going to say anything that would allude to the fact that this is not actually Thor. She would very much like to know that. I mean, we're at one end of a longhouse. If you go to the other other end of a longhouse, it's a longhouse. How how long is this longhouse, though? As long as it, it gets. Is it five hundred feet or? I mean, it's a god's longhouse, isn't it? An yeah, infinite longness? Just, this goes off into the distance of longness. Be careful you don't run into the invisible walls of the bedroom. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. going to hit the clip plane? Yeah. Yep. yeah. That's Lindra, a DLC coming do you later. prefer ale or perhaps something the Aesir or drink, like some elvish wine of some kind? Um, That would be lovely. Okay, I will get you some wine then. And LP, would you like a full great. pint or a half? I'll take a half pint, please. I... What, what was that, uh, Lindra? Oh, uh, I'm going to exercise great caution in actually eating anything or drinking anything of the gods. We've seen that go really south before. Guess who's not going to exercise any Briv is going to exercise <laughs> reckless abandons. I mean, I, I don't even know why I try. <laughs> <laughs> Just full stone Wood, cold Steve Austin is as already a two points in. I am how, going how to exercise reckless abandon. I, I, some <laughs> of us haven't. <laughs> some of us are undead. What? Tell me, Briv, and Freely, what's your favorite food? Meat. <laughs> you find. Do you like meat with bones in it? Or like, what's your it, ideal meat? <laughs> it does not matter. Typically the bones add more flavor. So right. the, it, sometimes they are inconvenient for other kinds of people, but I just eat the bones and everything. So it works very well for me. There, uh, there is something that almost looks like it's this, uh, the drumstick, the size of a, uh, a, a an actual Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's how big this thing is. That is just sitting there fully cooked perfectly sauteed marinated like, if there's anywhere in here like the fred flintstone size bronto ribs that like tip the car over <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what freely's looking for yeah it may be a dragon 
we won't go too deep into that, but you find some <laughs> dragon ribs. <laughs> it's just, just I'm, I'm all like, well, so apparently I thought Valhalla was the afterlife, but this is it. So carry on without me, you all. Tell my story. Well, here's here's a cup of blood from our enemies. If you would oh, like to drink oh. that. Thanks, Sam. She makes her own cocktail. Uh, this is delicious. Uh, what is it from? I don't remember. Something I killed. Okay. Well, it's gr- cheers. Knocks it back. Good. Not my thing, but yes. And then there's your your half pint, tiny Idrisil Defender Penelope half pint, and uh, here's your wine, uh, Lindra Selbrand, and or Carrie Eldrix. What do you drink? What do dragons drink? I'm not a dragon. Uh, sorry. Born sorry. of dragons. What do born of dragons drink? I would have made these ribs really awkward, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'm I'm used to people making that mistake. Um, I I, I don't I don't know. What do you usually? Dr- I'll have anything really. And she's kind of awkwardly doing the thing and where she's trying to keep an eye on where everybody has gone to and what everybody is doing all at the same time. And so she is distracted. She's not really paying attention. Yeah, I'll just, oh yeah, sure. I'll have everything. Yeah. When, when Thor handed Whittle the cup of blood, uh, Whittle's illusory double stopped what she was doing. Oh, so you're still. I'm okay. Yeah. So uh, I'm trying to make it as quick as possible. And I will she, allow you a deception check. Just... Make, make me a deception check to try to get him to put the cup down on the table as your, illus- your illusion of yourself, it does not have a form that can physically hold things. But you can okay. probably like indicate like, oh, that'd be great. Thank you for the blood. You can put oh, that on the table. 17. Okay. Yeah, he puts the cup of blood on the table instead. And instead of handing it directly to you, which you being undead, not necessarily a complete shock. Um, anyone else? So you guys are snacking, eating. I haven't had anything yet. I think I've looked over at Alindra because I'm keeping an eye on everybody and then watched as she is being incredibly cautious. And I'm whatever he hands me, I'll just kind of hold. May I uh, search my knowledge about what I know about partaking in food and drink of the gods? If it's offensive to not do so, if it is dangerous to do so with permission. If it is delicious to do so. Um, Because we specifically saw this happen with Avren. Yes. Yeah. You ate something. And and can you remind the audience specifically what happened? We went into Avren's memories and we saw him in a longhouse... uh, talking I, I might need some refreshing on this exactly what happened but he was talking with someone and he was eating the food of the gods um and more important yeah and more importantly at the time briv ate something and there were repercussions later although we don't know all of the details uh so briv does not remember any of that so for <laughs> for the audience's benefit um what, what what happened there? Well, we don't actually know. We just know oh, there okay. were going to be repercussions. Oh, <laughs> which okay. is why it's Maybe perfect. That's why that Briv doesn't know. Also, even if Briv would know, I don't know if this would stop Briv. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would, but I, I, yeah. So maybe the that's a train that hasn't come in yet. Got it. Okay. We, we just we, got some very stern warnings not to eat or drink anything while we were in that vision. So. Alindra specifically, you know that, listen, you were talking about transplanter creatures uh, eating the food of the gods can be like, give you a boon or it can be exceptionally bad. If you eat it without invitation, they can be incredibly bad because the rules are very different. So if something grants you the right to do a thing, to enter into a temple, a longhouse, anything, like anything that is a deity's realm and you take something that you were not before asking. Yes, absolutely. That opens you up to ramifications. This is almost in the kind of sense of like, if you make a deal with the devil, right? Like, like doing something without the deal can be just as bad with something that is a God. If, if it didn't say you can take this thing, bad things may happen. 
But if they do say you can, is this something like... It's a bit like inviting in a vampire fairy? almost sometimes. Like, okay, so so it, the, the wisest course of action based on what I know is not to partake at all. It's... Or, you were off of the food, but like is, is either that, way, is that some... offensive. Like this, this is what I do. I'm an anthropologist. I I, I examine the behaviors of cultures and people, and, yeah, and absolutely learn from it. So I'm trying to just assess based on what I know about them what the proper etiquette is. You can hear. Um, listen, these people are pretty rowdy for gods. Like in terms of the gods you've met, they've been pretty like you know hoity-toity they're belching they are farting they are like just throwing hands for fun they are uh rough and tumble at best they are throwing people's hands for fun they're throwing some people's hands yeah <laughs> um there you do see one man that people keep on throwing like rocks at and actual tankards and throwing plates at and they keep laughing at him uh because he he's and he's unmarked, but he's just getting a little tired of it. Like, he's just trying to eat his mead and his food and stuff like that. And then, like, he just gets hit in the head with a spear. And he's just like, guys, guys, this is so old. Oh, my God, stop. Blink. <laughs> yep. I can't be killed. Yep. Super fun. It's never gets old. Love it. Love it. Love it. Why don't you go talk to Viv Vivdar? He never talks. Make fun of him. That's super fun. Anyways, <laughs> hate you guys. Uh, but uh, so, so what we're getting is, it's gonna be fine. Yes, that's the yeah, yeah. Okay, and it's not offensive if we don't partake, or is it? Not, okay. not offensive. No, this is uh very unstructured. This this society that you are witnessing at this moment. But I I I, I will I will confess that I've brought you here because I do need something and it's a bit awkward so I like to keep it between all of us if that's okay uh, uh, but you being heroes I, I thought that perhaps that you could help me with this particular situation and it's a bit sensitive um, because though I am uh, Thor and uh, this is Asgard um, something has happened a couple of times now and it's not my fault let's just get that out of the way it's not my fault it never things is. happen okay so, this one time there was this big giant and he took my hammer and that really sucked and that hurt my feelings. It hurt my feelings like inside my heart and that was a terrible thing. Uh, yeah. I, know, so I noticed I noticed you didn't you didn't have the hammer. I was going to ask, but I figured you hadn't pulled it out. So, I figured maybe it was like... Mm. Yeah, it's awkward. It's awkward. Um, so, that happened a long time ago and... Uh, brother and i he's he's a bit squirmy and uh untrustworthy and so uh, him, him and i had to go get the hammer and I, I i dressed up and i was very beautiful uh, uh as a bride and then um it <laughs> so it, we got it back but it happened again and uh this lovely dragon sorceress named lucian and, and a bunch of other folks brought it back uh to me and uh so that was great i got the hammer back uh the hammer is missing again and it's like the third time, and if Dad finds out, it's going to be so, 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 so bad. It's going to be so bad. It's going to be really embarrassing. So Is I'd it like the that. same giant that just keeps taking your hammer? Should we just go have really no. strong words with this giant? Well, I can go kill the giant and get the thine hammer back. Yeah, so uh, the first time, it, 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 it was Tim and uh, the, the, with the giant. and But he was not like I'm that sorry, big. What was the name? Theorem, term, you know, it depends on, you know, how you want to say it. Tim. Sure, Tim. I, he'd love I, that. I'm, only What's Tim I know is an enchanter. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. yeah well, he, he, he's, he's kind of like king of the Jotun at the time. And, uh, you know, not so much now because uh, I killed him. And, uh, but, so, uh, yeah, it's, I only know that it's in Jotunheim, but we have a very loose kind of peace treaty with Jotunheim right now and some of them are like really big really big like huge oh, yeah but some of them we, are like just my size we do not have a treaty with Jotunheim and, and therefore we can destroy them all 
And we're very small. But wait, I thought if the story said you could just call Mjolnir back to you, though. So, like, why can't you just be like, come on back, you silly hammer? Like, why's, why's this a... Yeah, that's not, not, that's not really how it works. What is a Mew Mew? Mjolnir. Mjolnir is my hammer, first off. And, uh... It's this the best hammer ever made. Does uh, really. not have I mean, the handle is here? The, the handle is shorter than most people would like and prefer, but that's just you know poor dwarven craftsmanship, really. But <sighs> we won't get into that. Um, so uh, yeah, someone has my hammer, and I know they're in Jotunheim, and they went through this little portal uh, in the glacier. And I would like it if you could get it back. So let me get this straight. How did, how did they quiet. even like? How were they able to carry it? I thought like nobody could pick it up, and like I thought that's that's what I'd heard. Yeah, that's a rumor. Actually, that's the that's the thing is, uh, oh. yeah, they kind of snuck into the house, uh, and then they they grabbed my hammer. So just to be enough. clear, thou art saying that thou dost wish us to enter a forbidden realm. Yes. And risk inciting an open war between thine people and the giants because yes. thou dost want us to recover a little hammer that thou couldst just simply have made again by the blacksmiths here in Asgard. First off, it was made in a heart of a dying star. Yeah. And it was made by these three dwarves that were really, really cool and special, and they made a great hammer. Uh, so, no, I can't just replace the hammer. Um, it's a big deal. I don't know. I'm Thor. It's my Okay, I, I am in. I just wanted to clarify the parameters of what we were doing. Yeah, imagine when do, we, when do we leave? Imagine if Freely had no hand. The, the, the uh, metal hand. He doesn't like, have a uh, hand. That's, that's a bad example, because I could get another metal hand. Yeah, but aren't you attached to that metal one? Literally, it is but, attached but, to him. Yeah, yeah, but if if but if I didn't have it, it'd be, it you know what? Just uh, point us towards this glacier. We'll go knock this out for you, and uh, it will be all good. You are world famous for being f lucky, a, a lucky, bo l l lucky freely, right? So what if someone took your luck? Imagine ah. have what? What if uh, Alindra wasn't like they took your smarts, right? Your knowledge. Someone pulled out, or like Penelope just didn't want to be anyone's friend anymore. Or maybe Whittle wasn't fast and drank blood. Or what if Orkira so, didn't have an anxiety attack? So, just to be clear. That's how I would feel. Art thou the god of hammers? Is that what thou art saying? No, but that would be super cool. First off, being the it god of hammers would be cool. Until thou dost lose thine hammer. But if I was god of hammers, I would make another hammer. And I would also, make this hammer. Also, I'd again. like to point out in all of the stuff that you know about us, being stealthy and quiet is not, we are not really... discreet. No, no. Then, what? It... then we just blame that on the the prime material play. We just blame that on Midgard. Midgard gets all kind of gets kind of wacky and dacky. So yeah, it's plausible deniability. Yeah. I, yeah. I, so wait, if they stole your hammer, why do you need to sneaky sneaky get it back? Why can't you just? Tell we them. Said, we said we wouldn't invade them anymore. Like you know, we could, they, they they attack us and we attack them. And the Jotun are like, "Ooh, we want to be gods too." And we're like, "Ah, we killed Ymir, and that's you know, that's not on us though. We we made Midgard of your dead friend." Uh, but yeah, so it's very complex. Listen, God stuff is a lot. Uh, Whittle is basically just repeating uh, her illusory self at <laughs> at a table tables away from where we are just repeating everything she hears thor say like it uh, takes takes a sip of of the ale and says uh that, that was a uh, really disappointing you know that time when that giant from jutenheim took uh thor's hammer you, you ever think he's gonna get it back you think we can go hey, has ever has anyone ever tried going through that portal in the glacier to get it back I, I I think I think I think uh, I think that that's what's on the table right now, and that's a, that's an I, excellent idea, Whittle. Yeah, we the, should we should do that. Yeah. Whoever whoever is sitting at the table with the illusory, Whittle, to Give see me. how they react to that, to what she is hearing from uh, very far away. You know that thing that's supposed to be secret. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. Give that me an thing that was about. <laughs> <laughs> well, go, yeah, she, go ahead I, and give me an my insight. My illusory check. double can hear everything. Yeah, hear. right. But one of the things she would have heard is Thor saying, "Don't tell anybody." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to so, make sure that it's actually 
the so, hour. Yeah, there is one way to find out if it was a secret is to tell everyone. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, have it. <laughs> well, you do. You can't only be at one place at one time. So it's not like you share. So you probably mm -hmm. lost a little bit in translation as you yeah. were cutting back and forth. You know, like when. Remember you the know, olden the time times when, uh, when, could... when Thor lost a screwdriver in Jutenheim? <laughs> what was it? What tool? What tool was it? Anyways, uh, <laughs> what what kind of check did you want me to make? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, you're lucky we're married. It was a uh, <laughs> that's what you're all here for, folks. I mean, I was trying to go to Mount Celestia this entire time, so I'll just button hook to um, Valhalla. Just button hook. I, uh, uh, I should have cast Word of Recall before we left. I won insight check. <laughs> I love you. No, oh, 10? <laughs> no, everything seems fine. Everyone's like, oh, yeah, it's super okay with everything you're saying. She just okay. thinks to herself, my friends will probably be fine going through this portal. Nothing bad will happen. How long are, can you stay invisible like this? Uh, Up to one hour. Good lord, this lead. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> what level is that spell? Oh, it's five. It's... Oh, okay. Five. Yep. Yeah, it's a nasty one. It's the nastiest one. Yeah. They're like, oh, that Loki thing that he does? No, let's do something way bigger. Let's <laughs> do it <laughs> like 18 times as long, too. Um, so. So yeah. wait, let me let me get this straight. You are afraid of some political shenanigans. And so instead of just talking to someone, you want to do more political shenanigans? Well, Listen, we don't know the thing. He wanteth us to do the political shenanigans. Yes. Yeah, that. I just, that. I just like to point out, we could have been back already. Like, we could have knocked this out, gone in, gotten the hammer back, and just been here and had uh, some gods owing us a solid. Really, if you think done it. If, if it was really that easy, do you think a god would have asked, would have just done it? Don't well, think? Gira makes a good point. And no, but he, he can't be seen doing stuff. No, I get it. You know, they need plausible deniability. They could blame it on the little people from the prime material plane. I get it. I, I get I, it. I don't like being the people that get blamed for that, stuff. That's, we just can't get caught then. As a long as it's like everything goes fine, it'll be fine. Aside from these spicy dragon wings that thou hast given us, and I have already eaten at least 43 while we were sitting here talking, is there anything else that we shall get out of this arrangement? Because it seems like thou dost need us. Yes. Perhaps a visit to Valhalla. Mm, I can, uh, well, I have something, I have a sphere that could be very useful for all of you. Given that you uh, came to Asgard and we immediately were alerted to your presence. I don't know what those words mean, but I believe Alindra probably does. Well, we have a, I have an item on in the vault uh, that can grant invisibility, but to like a whole place. So like a whole tower or a fortress would go invisible. Like some sort of device that will like cloak the over That's it the where word. you can see it? like a cloak that you would like wrap around you but then all of a sudden people couldn't see through it like a oh. cloak that would be really useful to have on this adventure of yours and then when we get back i think penelope probably wants to meet your tree and alindra wants to go like look around i would just we, like a sword all that can be arranged uh, i mean the sphere is like a big deal i mean it's kind of like a high profile item you know in the vault but but we could but, use that for Storm Herald. Yeah. It would that's be an I was, invisible No, I, I, I feel like that, that's what he's getting at, is we'll have an... I think that's 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 the selling point here. We'll have an invisible flying planes hopping fortress. I knew that. I was just making sure everyone did. No, Thank we're you, all Brad. on the same page. Yeah, no, you're, yeah. you're good. Yeah, and then wait. No, Go I'm, ahead, I'm in. All in. Yep. We could have been back ship. already. <laughs> Yeah, can we go? I'm, I'm willing to take this risk. Uh, do you have any warm clothing, though? From what I understand, uh, Jotunheim is a little chilly. Oh. Uh, well, not all of Jotunheim. That's actually, this, that's a, uh, it's, it's just a big place, is the thing. But yeah, there's some very cold places, but uh, certainly, um, yeah. 
No, we can get you warm clothes. Yeah, absolutely freely. We can do that. Can you can you show us like a picture of your hammer? Yeah, it, it's uh, 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 uh. Hey, give me a hammer p- painting. <laughs> it's really, it's really cool. You like this? This is gonna be good. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Here's, uh, here's a scroll. All right. So have it's a, have a hammer painting, a painting of thine hammer just sitting about. It's a really special hammer to me. First off, so insulting. Right? Like, I have a picture of my mom and my father. So, anyways. So, this is the hammer. (laughs) Silvery, and the handle's a bit short, but that's, that. you know... The handle is too short. Poor dwarven craftsmanship. I don't even get any started. Anyways, this gold inlay, I like it quite a bit. It's a good hammer. And what's it made out of? You said it was made in the heart. The heart of a dying star. Oh, it was made out of the heart that was Would it not be better if it was a living star? We could have been back by now. (laughs) Yes, but now I can locate this if we get close. As can I. And this is why we do not rush into things freely. I am a halfling of action. Yes, Alindra. About the person who stole your hammer. Uh, I uh, I uh, I know that they were under some kind of illusory magic because they had to be to get past me, and they. We're probably Jotun, but I could be completely wrong. But they were about my size, I would think, to have come through the window or the door or however they got into my tiny house. I mean, my long house, my big house. But anyways, so they, so they're probably my height and covered in heavy illusion. Uh, what sort of illusion? And could you see anything through it? I don't know. As I was you asleep. Are a god? Yeah, they're in the they're on another plane of existence, though. Is the, the How thing. dost thou even know what happened if thou were to sleep? Because my hammer is missing, and then there was a trail. So thou didst just make up that entire story because thou dost have no way to validate it. That's no, no, that's not true. A good friend of mine, he has very good eyes, and he said there were suspicious folk going through this portal in this glacier. And that, that's that's what sort the, of suspicious folk? They 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 seemed they all looked exactly the same, right? Like they, they were like? they they look like Jotun. They look like the Jotun. They look like giant people. That's a very very general statement. That's all true. giants look alike to me. Oh, I can't. They didn't look. They didn't look at his garden. So, but very you're worth also... elvish. And how long ago was this? This was like uh, three days ago. And no one here sees through illusions. I mean, we, we can't now. It's already happened. So. Uh, also, it's been three days and the like 40 minutes that we've been standing here talking about it. <laughs> Do you have starting to feel like. Uh, so are there any uh, provisions you would recommend us taking with us to go retrieve this hammer of yours? No, if you need any weapons, you know, they won't be magical or anything like that. And if you need, like, you know, a, a hoodie or something fur, fur-lined or something like that, we can make that happen. Certainly. Yeah, I think yeah. Okira might like something fur-lined. I'll, I'll okay, take yeah. something, too. Uh, yeah, we... I've got that I, lovely hat. Yeah, I've got, well, I've got a whole outfit to go with it. I, oh, I picked right. up a whole thing in Waterdeep. It was amazing. Did you know that they can actually, like, alter clothing in Waterdeep? It's amazing. They can, yes. They're nice. Tailors. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, we are, we have essentially no clues as to what the person looked like. We have no clues about where they might have gone, other than the fact that they are Jotun. Um, we don't know what sort of illusory magic they were using. We just know they went through a portal in a glacier. Being perfectly honest, while you were asleep. Alindra, we are going on more information with this than we typically do. Which is sad, but true. And you are certain that this wasn't something that was, you know, uh, who was this Lucian who, who was involved? Is it possible that they were playing a prank on you? Uh, no, no, that was a long time ago. Nope. Lucian? Nope. She's is it, this elf 
that she had like dragon blood or something like that. No, they mm. they, they they brought the hammer back actually. So understood. Yeah. And no one else has been in your house that you know. No. Hey, is this portal big enough to bring all a storm herald, or are we just walking through it? Uh, it's a bit. It's 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 not. It's I don't think big enough to large. pick an entire. <laughs> I, castle through. I assumed oh. we were huffing it. And hey, the good news is, if this whole thing was a long con to try and force war between Asgard and the Jotunheim, uh, the Jotun uh, sending us means that plan won't work. So there you go. We're already helping. So wait, this portal is still open? Yes. Yeah. It's, they are basically just inviting us to come there into their trap? So much so, we could have been back already. Do you have any allies over in Jotunheim? Uh, I am with our allies in Jotunheim. Yeah. Nah, incorrect, Thor. You now have six allies in Jotunheim. Well, no, we're still in Asgard. Oh. I mean, but if you were in Jotunheim, which you could have been in 40 minutes now. ago, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Then I would have allies. Right. How long is it going to take to get to this portal? I can get you there right now. Depends can you on give how me long 10 we're minutes? still talking about it. Just, yeah, like Freely very much is like pulling out like scarves and things that like will fit Penelope and himself. <laughs> like, putting on a coat, bundling her up. Can you give me 10 minutes? Absolutely. Yeah. Hey, 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. 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 And I'm going to like, uh, hey, just give us a couple of minutes to talk about this. Okay. And I'm going to motion for everybody to come on over. We don't have to be like alone, but just in a place where we can sit for 10 minutes okay. um and i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna be like all right everybody think about three yes or no questions and i'm gonna place my book on the ground and start to uh ritually cast commune <laughs> commune sorry <laughs> <laughs> those are different words uh, wow. <laughs> totally different word. yeah I suddenly feel like we knew it was coming with our kira but <laughs> we're gonna commune <laughs> no commune and why and in 10 minutes, what what we want to ask the Phoenix? Actually, I know the first question I want to ask. And uh, her eyes light up with fire and she is going to say, hi. Yeah, it's another day here. Did the Jotuns really take Thor's hammer? It's a good one. Yes. All right, apparently the, the Jotuns really took it. I don't know if they still have it. That's a different uh, question. It's an indifferent, yes. It's an I, I, I have a question. Indifferent? Indifferent, yes. <laughs> it's yes, but with a maybe, like an asterisk. It's like a soft yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a yes with a heavy, uh, with a heavy, uh, uh, I, I, I have a question. Uh, will us going in to Jotunheim trigger a war? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, if we go in through this portal to Jotunheim, is that going to cause a war? Possibly. So I've got two yes with asterisks, which yeah, usually means I gotta, yeah, I got to ask a, a more. So like, yeah, the Jotuns took it, but they might not still have it. Um... Yeah, it's possibly going to cause a war, but that might just be if we get caught, which we're going to get caught. I mean, look at me. I'm not no. really much for stealth. Will no, we win? Uh, they're not going to know that because no that's a future thing. A war. Yeah. Yeah. The oh, Phoenix no, that's not true. Doesn't like, really have... definitely wins. Yeah, the Phoenix doesn't necessarily know the future. Well, but thou didst just ask a question about the future, about us getting caught. And no, so, I said uh, if we if we go, will we start a war? It's a very definitive. If we do this, will this happen? Will we win? Is kind of a more. If we go there, will we win? Uh, there's a lot more going on there. Very well. Yeah. All right. Third question. <laughs> I think uh, Alintra should get What's to ask something. Person... This is her life's work. Yeah. yeah. I want just to get more specific on the first question. Was the person? who stole the hammer native to Jotunheim. Do we want to ask that or do we want to ask if the if there's if the hammer is still in Jotunheim? Are we being That's sent a on a wild here. good yeah. All right. All right. I think both are good but like okay. Uh is the hammer still in Jotunheim? Yes. 
And that one doesn't have an asterisk? No. Okay. All right. Thanks. Hope you're doing okay. Uh, I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna hopefully talk to you later for not all dead. Thank you. And I will pick up the book and say, all right, well... All right, well, we got a couple answers, at least out of that. I, you know. Oh, so you only get three? I get three yes or no questions a day. I could technically cast it more often, but if I do it more than once uh, before a long rest, there's chances that the phoenix is just like, I'm not answering more of your questions. What are you talking about? I got so, time for this. <laughs> yeah, there's a... So, once a day. Okay, well... That kind of helped. At least we know we're going to the the right general area. And if we get within a thousand feet, Olandra and I can start searching for it. But we don't have... I mean, how big is Jotunheim? Uh, it's a plane, from what I understand. Yeah. All right. Well, unless the anybody's got for, any other... For, for, well... Uh, we're probably gonna start a war. I mean, it's, it, it sounds like, uh, you know, we're gonna initiate something that we, uh, you know, there's a potential that we might not be able to come back from. So, uh, good luck, everyone. For, for, for a hammer. That... For a hammer. Can we, do we wanna try to talk to the, this guy again and convince him to do the diplomatic thing? He could yes, have I, been back I, I by have... now. Oh, to be clear, I'm not saying I'm afraid of starting a war. I'm just saying we might not come back from it. So, uh, are we in? Or are we out? I, I have serious reservations about violating a treaty. A peace treaty. I have, I have serious concerns about that. If something was stolen, then that's a conversation that should be negotiated between leaders. I mean, frankly, it not, sounds like if not we go... stolen back. It's an endless cycle of theft at that point. Thor, can you send uh, Penelope and I? We'll go do this. We'll knock it out. We'll be back in like an hour and a half. So, <laughs> All right. Yeah, they... no. That's okay. Now stealing... everyone's on board. What? Why do they keep stealing your hammer? Because it's a very good hammer. <laughs> Clearly <laughs> it bothers them. Are, are there other objects that they keep stealing? Not in particular, no. Mainly the hammer. Because once they stole my wife's hair, that was rude. That's quite a strange theft to, to, to do. Did it yeah, it's rude and creepy. It was oh. rude. Yeah, they tried to take my beard once. That's also rude and creepy. Oh, so this kind of and, and have you voodoo doll up there? Them. No, nothing. Can you negotiate a conversation with the leaders of, of your of Asgard <laughs> and of Jotunheim? See, the thing is, is that we, <sighs> this needs to be kind of like a secret. Why? <laughs> It's just they keep like we. These might just be some is vagabonds. The that you aren't properly guarding it. Is that the issue? That hurts me because I care about this hammer quite a bit. So that's I, I feel that's been that's been clear. So they shouldn't have been in Asgard in the first place. So they violated a treaty as well. Oh, yeah, it is all right then. Let's go. Let's go start a war. Can I make my um, invisible self go through the portal? D does that does it disappear if it goes? Well, through you don't know where the portal is yet. So, so, uh, surely, oh, it's, I don't. surely it's okay. been more than an hour. I'll see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's probably getting close. Yeah, probably I think getting your mislead is about done. <laughs> I'm trying to make use of this one more time before it disappears. Can we find that portal before it does? Uh, well, I mean that depends. I mean, like if you ask Thor where the portal is. Really, you're really, really persuasive. Can't, instead of you per trying to persuade us to go run into a portal, can you try to per you know, persuade this guy to, like, talk to people for once? Let's not start a war for once. Wait, 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 you guys, you guys, you guys, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. You guys, you guys, yeah. you guys, this is not just a god. This is one of the greatest warriors of all time, and apparently fate led us here Shh. to this exact moment. You guys know I just end up where I'm supposed to be, and right now I'm here, him asking me to do a thing. We can't just, it would have been done already. It's like, no. That feels like a revision narrative. I but... promise, I promise we can try and talk to the Jotun before we just start swinging, if you like that. That's fair. That is a compromise I can get behind. Crossing through the portal is a violation of the treaty. No, it's not. It's we don't not live here. We're not treaty. Asgardians. Yeah, no, no, yeah, no. Arkira looks over to Lindra. They're gonna go. They're gonna go regardless, them. yes. 
Yeah. Huzzah. Yeah, no, I'm sure I'm really gonna go. Yeah. Uh huh. I reach out and I cast Death Ward on Freely and Penelope. <laughs> <laughs> what it's, said, it, it's like, oh, we were gonna talk, and then fire comes into her hands. She's like, and I was gonna, it was gonna be nice, and then you get wings sprout out of your back, and then I come over to Penelope and I'm like, well, maybe if we're not dead, then you can talk to a really nice tree, and then wings sprout out of your back. And well, the good will... news is, when we end up dead, we're gonna go somewhere awesome. So this is all win-win, you guys. Like, why is everybody so upset? It's gonna be fine. Thor, <clears throat> we're ready to go. All right, let's do it. Just lightning crackles, <laughs> and you suddenly appear on the edge of a glacier. And before you is a glowing blue portal, and all the ice around you is blue but also like the cracks are dirty with age and ancientness and you Aww. see crevasses on to your left and your right and it's like a thousand foot drop and you can hear the ice cracking like thunder and lightning around you it's Ooh. extremely cold but you see the portal 10 feet away from you well that's that's what well, they went through how long is this portal going to be open for well uh this one we we're probably going to shut it down uh, but uh, they they do kind of kind of like pop up around the multiverse from time to time. So. How are we How supposed we get to get back? No, yeah. you'll be fine. No, we no. Have this, a cute, this portal we have a looks. Gate. Uh, this portal looks like it's got a couple of uh, days in it at least. Yeah, yeah. Um, and when we get back through, uh, is there a way that we can like uh, let you know that we're back, or like maybe we need backup if like I don't know, like a whole bunch of giants. Yeah, I can, I, well, uh, yeah, I can hang out here for a while, absolutely, or send me a message. You know, that's yeah. totally acceptable. Uh, uh, maybe, maybe hang out in the area. Yeah, you know, we're like, get, a, get a pint. But like, yeah. did, did you just say we're friends? Oh, absolutely, friendly. We're friends. <gasps> I would like to insight that moment right there. Are we absolutely <laughs> friends? Because <laughs> Freely very much charges headlong through the portal when he's like, we're friends. It's like, <gasps> Freely just pops through the portal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Brand when he says, oh, absolutely, through, we're friends. I got 17 on my insight. Are we really friends? Uh, I mean, he seems to be truthful. Okay. That makes I mean, of course we are. We're, we're, we're he's using us to the best of his ability. I just <laughs> he loves I had us a for it. For sure, I had this moment like, oh, is he actually part of the con? So, mm -hmm. as as freely charges through, Orkira is just gonna sigh and square her shoulders, and then go through the portal. Guess which halfling has in for a dump stat. <laughs> <laughs> this all, right. all seems legit. <laughs> Who else goes through? <laughs> Whittle's illusory double snaps back to her. She contemplates for a moment, sending hit before her, but she's kind of ready to cross this portal yeah, and Br jump Briv in. just calmly walked through after uh, Freely. Shield up, sword in hand. <laughs> Penelope? Has Alindra gone through? Not yet. Penelope will turn to Alindra and just say, I'm sorry that you're stuck with us. <laughs> I love you all. <laughs> It'll be all right. It, it always is, right? No. <laughs> no, it really isn't. It really is. But we'll do uh -oh. what we do. And we'll find a way. <laughs> okay. Penelope will reach for Alindra's hand so we can go through the portal. I will take Penelope's hand. All right. <laughs> You walk hand in hand through the portal. Aww. And that's everyone. You appear in this vast, huge forest on the side of a mountain. And you see uh, already immediately as your ears pop and, and the atmosphere changes, you see the trees are much larger, like I would say eight times the size of redwoods. Everything here is bigger. You can see bears the size of castles slowly pushing through the pine trees. You can see giants in the distance, way far in the distance, laughing around a fire. Uh, too big to have gone through this portal, but you can hear their deep bassy laughter right in the ground itself. All the animals are a little bit bigger here. And you find yourselves in Jotunheim. 
Penelope, look at all these chunky animals. I love the chunky animals. <laughs> you see a giant chunky owl flies overhead at that moment. Griff, look. And grabs a chunky mice. <laughs> that looks quite familiar to Alindra. That looks like like the owls of of, uh, of the Chonglewood. Oh. Believe it or not, when I see a chunky owl fly by, especially if it lowers the boom on a mouse, um, you know, I will leave it up to you, Todd, whether or not I can combine message and speak with animals. Because message going, is not let's telepathic. Let's do it. Let's, yeah, let's it get just, crazy. It just lets my voice talk to somebody far away and then speak with them. They understand me. Um, I'm like, ah, uh, hey, you big old boy. Um, hi, we're down here. We're not mice. Please do not eat us. Hello. <laughs> it's like flies off with a mouse and just like it's yeah. like the mouse like jumping up and being like hey here i am right come, come get and me. keeps flying <laughs> we're, we're pointy mice no wait i want to ask you a question oh he left he's hungry okay or maybe she i don't know i didn't check that was rude of me hmm i was well i was just thinking maybe some of the animals have seen some other people like our size you know we could talk to them rather than the giants Maybe the animal can fly us to wherever the hammer is. If it knows. Wow. Look at the size I, of these trees. I think we should just go ahead and assume that uh, all the animals here are probably predators and probably not try to get their attention. I mean, I talked to like lots of predator animals, but oh, okay. All right. I mean, that, that so much bear, bigger than us. That so, bear is the size of a castle. What, what do we do now? Do we locate the object? What do we do? Ooh. Well, I was looking for some witnesses, but uh, all we got is the animals that don't seem too chatty, those giants, that that's a mixed bag. Um, can we just, like, check for tracks? If it if it hasn't rained, can we, are there, like, yeah, human, are there, check. I was about to say, are there human-sized footprints around? Uh, let's see. Nature or survival? Nature. Uh, Wait, uh, you're right, survival, actually. Hey, because I'm better at survival. <laughs> Uh, 16. You know, there is absolutely no tracks. Oh. Weirdly, no tracks. Hmm. Besides... It seems as if they passed without a trace. Uh... Besides the giants that we see, are there any other settlements? Do we see any other castles or domiciles or towns? If I need to do a little flight in order to take a look around, I will. Uh, make sure you keep an eye above you also, because, you know, that's that's where, like, because uh, you're kind of a bite-sized out here. Mm, you know what? Let's get crazy. Uh, go ahead. If you fly up, you can give me a perception check. I, I will fly up to just above the tree height. I'll be, I'll be right back. I'm just going to take a look, a look. And... Uh, it's a dirty 20. Yeah. Um, your perception, you smell something. And what you see where there are things. Well, you notice that there, there's like, there, there are giant dire wolves running around. It's what you don't see. You see the, the giants in the distance around a fire. You see an area of the forest where there isn't anything really going on. And what do I smell? You smell food. You smell mead. Far and it's not distance. coming. It's not coming from the giants. No, they're drinking. They're drinking like straight up moonshine. It, it's. it's <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm they smelling red, that too. Are they redneck it's... giants. <laughs> Oh, I yes. Mean, <laughs> ridge, ridge, ridge runner Jotun out here. Yeah. But they're enjoying themselves. So the moonshine hits me in a different way, though, than the, the ale and the mead, and that's coming from the area that I don't see or notice anything? Yes. Okay. I will circle back down, and I'll explain all of that to everybody and say, do you think they could be hiding? At this moment, a little tiny squirrel crawls up onto Penelope. On How top tiny of her is head. tiny? Yeah. <laughs> it's a tiny squirrel. Oh, hello there. 
uh, uh, I speak with animals, and I ask, do you, have you seen a hammer anywhere? <laughs> she just kind of like, doesn't understand what hammer means. Hammer? Okay. I don't know how to make it simpler than that, so I'm just Like a gonna... hamster? Oh, wait, I mean, we're we're small. Everything else here is gigantic. Have they seen anybody else that's like our size? Have you seen anyone else our size? This, this person was, was Thor's size, not our size. Well, well still way smaller, than, well, way smaller than the Jotun, though. Okay, as big as is this person here, Brit. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> really? Yeah. Which way? That way. That way? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Is, is that in the direction of the nothing? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Hey, okay. Penelope. Hey, Penelope. Can, can you ask your, your new tiny squirrel friend what's over there? What is that way? Guys! <laughs> Guys? <laughs> yeah! Yeah? Guys! No, how, how many? No nuts. Just guys! <laughs> <laughs> My Good girls, night, everybody! <laughs> 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 I like the job while it lasted. It was cool. <laughs> Thanks for watching our stream. <laughs> we really appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> I like uh, Alinder's question. Uh, how many guys? Not nuts. Yes, how many? Three. Okay, we can have three. <laughs> three guys. Yeah. Our size. Yeah. Okay. No, not yours. Oh, not our size. Big guys. Yeah. Oh man, this is okay. Are I, they... I got nothing else. Are, are they friendly? Yeah, are they friendly? We didn't converse at length. Yeah, no. I know. That's like we're like the squirrel's gonna have a different concept to that. That's the thing. Yeah, it's freely starts heading in that direction. When he's like that way, I'm like, oh okay. No squirrels ever lied to me, and like starts walking that way. Quick, quick question Riff as calmly I calmly walks after him. As I not so calmly walk after him, um, that area of nothing was that. Would you say less than a thousand feet away from me? Yeah. All right then. As I not so calmly walk after freely, I am going to cast locate object. It's concentration up to ten minutes, and I'm going to think about Thor's hammer that was shown and described to me in such detail. Do I get a ping? You do. Is it? <clears throat> so Must I sense the direction of the object's location as long as that object is within a thousand feet of me. If the object mm -hmm. is in motion, I know the direction of its movement. Um, so yeah. It's I, not moving. Okay, and it's in the direction the squirrel has said? Yes. Okay. Not so gonna lie, I didn't, didn't think it'd be that easy. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna be that easy. I'm gonna mm -hmm. hop on up to Freely and and say, all right, all right, the squirrel isn't leading us wrong. It's it's ahead of us. Told you, no squirrels ever lied to me. Okay, there we go. Um, so I can um activate uh my third eye which allows me to see invisible creatures and objects um within a range and i also uh will uh activate um oh that's that's the one i will take so that's i can see invisible creatures now okay uh, within range and then um i would like to cast clairvoyance to see what i can see in that location are both of them concentration they're not right uh so third eye requires no concentration that is a that is a feature of being a, a diviner 
Oh, cool. Um, all mm -hmm. right. Uh, you rest, I can... see three people hold around a extremely low burning fire, and the entire light around it is dim, almost completely dark. So the light itself is not escaping, and it seems to be dissipating the smoke itself through some kind of magical aura. So it's not quite a tiny hut, but it's definitely obscuring their presence in any kind of way. <clears throat> and they're all asleep. All right. Um, can, is there anything identifying about them? That's can I see uh, the hammer? Can unusually I see... large features. You don't see the hammer itself, but they're the, like you know the cheekbones are a little bit extra. They are larger and more muscular. For certain. Um, so you see through any invisibility of any kind, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing invisible there. As this is happening, Viv uh, walks over to Middle and um, he um, starts to put his hand out and he says, May I? What are you reaching for? <laughs> for you? <laughs> like, I, like I'm going to touch you on the top of the head. May I? Uh, okay. And <laughs> that's the top. Of oh, and he's frozen. Oh, oh, is he wonking out for anybody uh, besides me? No, no I'm still here. here. Am I back? Uh, you got no? super super glitchy for a second. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, you haven't quite right. made it to Jotunheim. You're still the connection is very very spotty. All right. Anyway, um, if you can hear me, I'm casting Warding Bond on Whittle. Okay. Ah, nice. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, I just say to the group, I'm like, I can sneak ahead and see if I could just find the hammer. Maybe we could just get if it out of here and be gone. If you'd like to do that freely, I can cast invisibility on you to do so. What? Yeah, absolutely. But I need you to just do that and nothing else. I want you to retrieve the hammer, not cause any problems, not wake anyone up. I will need you to be as, as quick and quiet and intentional as possible. I promise I won't do anything other than go and get the hammer and leave unless they, like, wake up or something. Yeah. But besides that, if I can just get the hammer and go, you got it. All right. Um, okay. So then I will cast Greater Invisibility on you. <gasps> greater um, Invisibility. When, when we get close. So I'll, I'll because it's concentration, it only lasts a minute. Um, and yeah. how is this better than regular Invisibility? Uh, I can keep. You... Oh, go ahead. You can okay. Try. I can do stuff while I'm invisible. I can fight and cast spells and stay invisible. <laughs> it doesn't last as long, but it, you can you can cast spells. You can attack. You can, Good. Like, and stay invisible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Warn me, warn me just before you're gonna do that, and I'll do my best to point to where I'm feeling the hammer is to give you an idea. Perfect. All right. You're invisible. No, not until, not until we're right there. Okay, okay, go. okay. Yeah. So you are it's you, very short. Let me know when you're getting only, close. Because I only have a minute, so yeah. So. Well, you let us know when we're getting yeah, close. Right. <laughs> right. You're, 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 you're getting close. Uh, you know, g generally, I will say that you're moving stealthily. Uh, you know, uh, anyone want to give me a stealth check for the group? You know, what? I want to do one other thing before I do that. Um, I'm going to actually cast non detection on Freely first. Um, okay. So that he doesn't trip any alarms or and can't be magically um, he can't like any divination won't catch him. I got a twenty nine on my stealth. <laughs> nice. I'm a halfling ghost. Yeah, you are <laughs> you are leading everyone. I'm looking at non detection real quick. You mm -hmm. are Last you cast eight hours. It is going to uh, uh, keep him from being targeted by any divination magic perceived through magical scrying sensors. Um, yeah, this is the thing you use to hide people from magic users. <laughs> All right. Thank you. The has been cast on freely. Okay. All right. And when I'm, when we get a little close, I'll just say, if something goes wrong, you guys will know. <laughs> and then I... Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> we have the telepathic yeah. bond up. All right. Too, so. Yes, or Kira. So just before he leaves, I'll mm -hmm. put my head down at Freely's head level. Mm -hmm. And where do I feel the hammer is? Like, is it? Yeah, your I'm, evil is point. Yeah, okay. is it like in at a certain one of the three that are sleeping? Absolutely. Okay, so I'll point to that one. Be, look there, look yeah. right, right there, right there. Got it. All right, I'll be right back. 
and then I don't tell them I'm leaving. I just say I'll be right back, and I'm just gone. <laughs> Pop <Yeah>. the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and we kind of you assume. go in greater invisibility though. You are uh-huh. invisible. And stealth. Yes. Yeah, right, yeah. And mm-hmm. non-detected. And non-detected, so this is as good as it gets. It doesn't gets. stop also, from an investigation also, check made, kind of, right? Like, well, they're asleep, yeah. so... Oh. Theoretically, much... they, theoretically, they have disadvantage. Um, however, I am keeping an eye out for just mundane tripwires and stuff. <laughs> it's not my first rodeo. Yeah, you, uh, you actually do find some weird tripwires on your way. Yeah. I send that back to the psychic link and try and step over it. Yeah, like a magical device with runes on it, tripwire, that would have caused something to break and maybe possibly be like some kind of ceramic spell where if this breaks, a fireball will explode kind of stuff. Uh, it's almost like a, if, if there was some sort of like device you could put in the ground that when stepped on or tripped, it would explode. That's That's what it's like. It's weird. It's an interesting yeah. idea. Um, I send that back to the telepathic link so they have an idea if they come running and try and step over it and keep moving. As he's going forward, when we hear that through the telepathic link, I'm going to start looking around because now I think Orkir is even more convinced this is just a trap. Uh, you look around, you don't see any other traps. No. I mean, you give me a perception oh, I'm not check. Looking, I'm not oh, looking for I see, traps. I see. I, I think that this, is, this a is a trap, right? Yeah. I got you. Yeah, you're not picking up on anything weird, other than all of you. I mean, yeah, but that's normal weird. Yeah, uh, freely you get there to the edge of the fire, and you see the target. Let me just double check something because I got so many, so many variations of my boy. I need to make sure he can do what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> I know the feeling. Yep. Uh, I'm a hit detect magic. <laughs> oh, what you can do invisible. Uh, does that make <sighs> everything just glow though? Um, I don't, okay. it doesn't actually glow. I just know where it is. Uh, in your, I, I, I can uh, sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of me. Yeah, magic you almost pee yourself. Uh, it hits you hard, <laughs> it hits you big. <laughs> you mm-hmm. just see this at the side of this man. This bright light, it almost gives you a migraine, just shudders through you as you cast a tech magic. You have never, not since the cursed sword that you picked up from the end of times, have you sensed magic at this level? Well, that's an unpleasant memory. Um, <laughs> I do, uh, as, a, as I get that, I'm like, all right, you know, there's something very magical here. I'm going, I'm, I'm going in. Um, before I touch it or do anything, I very carefully study all of their faces because I want to be able to duplicate it with a minor illusion later if I'm all like, this was who did it, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. You, you, you're able to do so, yeah. Do they look human? Do they look Jotun? Do they... they look, I mean, well, you've never seen a Jotun. Right. Uh, but they don't look mm, regular human. Do I know what, does Freely know what an Eladrin looks like? It's like, it's like a Lindra Plus. So I'm like, do they look like? Yeah, you know what Ladrin look like. This, they're definitely not Ladrin. No, mm. they're they're a little like harder jawed, for sure. But not necessarily orcish, huh? Not orcish, no. I mean, Freely's not much of a thinker, so that that uh, being able to duplicate their faces is the best we're gonna get out of him. We've so. had yeah. giants before, though, haven't we? We have. We've seen like fire giants and stuff, but Rolex, and have, hill but... giants. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try and try and take the hammer. Give me a sleight of hand check. Do I have advantage or anything because he's asleep? You are invisible, so I will give you advantage. Hey. Oh, well. I'm going to use one of my luck dice. <laughs> Now's the time. Yep. I'm going to use my favorite of the gods. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Eventually, one of these will be good. Come on. Oh, one of these will work. Great. <laughs> Uh, well, 24. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, you <laughs> grab and you're like, you're like, ah, I got this. And you start pulling the leather, starts pulling it at the belt. And then you're like, oops. And then you loosen that. As you hear like snoring, just. <laughs> So it's like the sword in my arm just slowly comes out when he starts snoring. <laughs> you pull the hammer off. And you got the, like a cold sweat 
just like drops into a puddle and it makes a little kind of noise. And you have the hammer. Technically, the the, the detect magic goes on for for ten minutes. So this is this this is the thing I'm detecting, right? Yeah, you're this thing. This thing is like nuclear. Yeah, it's it's terrible. Uh, through I mean, not terrible, but it's right, just sure, like it's sure. a lot of magic. Powerful. It's more magic than you feel comfortable having on you. <laughs> uh, through the psychic thing, I'm like, okay, I got it. I'm coming back. Uh, and I attempt to go back. I want the, another stealth check as yep. you come back. Okay, as he's coming if, back. If it's really a pinch, I can dimension door, dimension door. If I, really uh, to. I wish that thou didst accidentally wake them up. No. Uh, I'm not back yet. You no. stop it. As he's coming back, do I now sense movement of the object I am currently? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, conv- so, yep, that's it, that's uh, it. That is a 29 on my stealth to come back. <sighs> wow. <laughs> this adventure got shorter. Um, he's, he's so you, you, <laughs> he's, he can, he can do a, just a couple of things, but he does them well. You yeah. still like little footprints kind of like back up to Alindra. Mm-hmm. And, no, at uh, 29, he even beats my passive, so no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, you don't even know. No, you don't even know. You're like, just, I mean, you're I see the thing coming. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah. But I, I would be all the way on the other side of them without them noticing and be like, you guys, I got it. It's here. We can go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Briv is going to take up the rear. Yeah. Like yeah. As we're returning. Let's um, let's go as quickly as we can. All right. I'm like, don't say it out loud. Without trace? I'm like, oh. Yes. I'm like, don't say it out loud, don't jinx it, don't say it out loud, don't jinx it. And I'm just like walking with the hammer. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. We're not doing anything out of the ordinary. We're just running. All right. You, you, do you pass through the portal? Yeah. Oh, man. I, I'll run through it first again. I'm like, look at right. we you, make- you run through the portal. All right. You, Briv reluctantly gets there yeah. and looks out over this wondrous landscape and is just basically like, Shakes his head and let, lets out a really heavy sigh, and then walks back through. The world. You allow a big, a big sigh? <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. Okay. With my pass without trace, yeah. Hear something mm-hmm. snap in the forest, and you go through the portal. Mm-hmm. Sure, and I mean, if the snap seems natural, um, hey, I, I probably will. Meh. Yeah. Okay. That that's fine. I mean, if if there's something to see, I'll. I'll uh, catch a peek before I walk into the portal. Okay. Okay. So everyone's going through the portal. I'm through mm-hmm. the portal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. You pass through the portal and you are back miraculously. Is Freely still invisible? What's going on? Oh, uh, technically it was only a minute. So you tell me when a minute. No, up. yeah. You're, you're, probably, right. you're probably okay. You get through the mm-hmm. portal. You are on the side of this massive glacier and you just see Thor drinking out of this, this ridiculously sized uh, mug of mead. And he like kind of spits. He's like, "Oh, that was uh, that was a bit fast, wasn't it?" Yeah, yeah. No, that's uh, we we get results. What can I say? Uh, this can I see very, that freely? Oddly weighted hammer. Can I see <laughs> it? You know, the handle's bit. It's the handle's shorter than it should be. Before uh, I handed to Briv, dwarven, actually, before sorry. I handed to Briv, and also before I handed back to uh, Thor, do I know anything about this hammer? Does it say anything to me? Do I feel anything from it? Because I can only detect magic, but... Um, you know that if you attune to it, it'll probably melt your brain, and it'll come out of your toes. Yep. So what you're saying, <laughs> so what you're saying is attune to it. <laughs> I'm like, that's, uh, that's it. That's, that's ascension. Um, it, it just depends on how you want to end Freely's story, I, I guess. I, I, I hold it out to show it to Briv, but I don't let go of it, especially if Thor can see us. Because I don't want to like fumble at the one yard line here with a. Uh... I mean, he's not not looking at you. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. I don't. I don't like. I don't hand it to him. I just hold it up where he can see it. Okay. To Briv. To Briv. Thor. To Briv. I let Briv oh, see I it, but I don't. I give want it to, to him. see how balanced it actually is. I just like turn and look at Thor, and I'm like, ah, uh, that's totally fine. Yeah, no. no, I'm a warrior. I know, <clears> well, I know but he just yeah, just look don't, like don't, another, don't, another plane to, yeah, don't, right, don't well. get sweaty on yeah, the handle wait, or anything. Back, back, and let's just step Rib away from on the his portal palms here and then wipes them together. <laughs> I very much move away from the pl- from the portal. I'm like, I'm not getting like grabbed and pulled back through that. I saw that play that they do at, at Waterdeep, where like the moment you're like, oh, the monster's inside the house. No, let's like stand over there. Yeah, can we actually close the portal? That's a good idea. Yeah, I'll, I'll send some folks uh, to close the portal at this point. Yeah, absolutely. 
Uh, and what, once we get out of arm's reach, I hand the hammer to Briv. Briv's just going to kind of like play with it, see that it probably is way better balanced than he thought it was <laughs> actually going to be. And then he's going to be like, well, oh, not too bad, I don't guess. And he just kind of uh, chunks it over to Thor at that point. He, he grabs it. Well, uh, I didn't think that you would uh, be done so quickly. So thank you. Huh? I told I you we could have been back already. Yeah, no, I, I was just saying this the whole, yeah, the whole time. We were lucky. Oh. Well, hey. uh, to, uh, go ahead, uh, uh, Orkara Eldrex. Can any of you close this portal? You know, just Absolutely. to be safe. Yeah, Let's no. Spit we'll, on it. We'll. Uh, <laughs> I, that, I don't think that's how. No, that just means it, that'll mean it's yours. It's just yours after that. It won't close. You can just. No, that's it. if you lick it. Oh yeah, no! Don't lick the portal, please. Don't lick the portal. If I spit on it, it might work. I think you only open portals with your spit. Yeah, that's I the opposite forget. of helping. Well, with all my or, magical or, abilities. Oh, or or, or, or carry El Drexen, uh, freely. Penelope half pint. Uh, Elindra Whittle. I thank you so much for bringing the hammer to me. I appreciate uh, it so brief. much. Uh, brief, 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 of course. Uh, brief the bold. Uh, we've I'm, all heard of i'm minor illusion the face of the man that had it and i'm like does this mean anything to you oh uh yeah that's my brother thor bye <gasps> <gasps> dimension doors house <laughs> you it. You know, i am Loki. Yeah, you owe me a cloak thank you so much for my brother's hammer ah! Thank you, everyone. Have a great night. I hope you enjoyed I another episode of Heroes of the Plains. That was a real thing. <laughs> Freely, no clue. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank, thanks so much, everyone, for watching tonight. We really, really appreciate it. It's been a blast. <laughs> I cannot wait to unfold all of that next week so join us again same hero time same hero channel next tuesday night at 6 p.m pacific and uh yeah let, let's do a, a quick uh, uh send out for everybody out here too so starting with you lauren hi i'm lauren urban i'm the community manager for idol champions of the forgotten realms there's a code you should go use that and get some fun loot and you can see me on twitter as obo lauren and you can see me also playing on d4 on sundays as this character just slightly earlier be dave uh be dave walters i say words about things i just we just wrapped idol champions presents also playing with some of these characters but previously uh i'm doing all kinds of stuff but the most important thing is thursday at four pacific episode one of the black dice society on uh D, D youtube and twitch so come and join us for some ravenloft horror yes jen hey i'm jen kretschmer you can find me on twitter as at dream whiskey dream wisp d-r-e-a-m-w-i-s-p you can find me on twitch streaming as dream wisp jen on mondays and wednesdays um i've got a bunch of cool stuff coming up i'm one of the authors of candlekeep mysteries um i am the creator of the accessibility gaming resource guide um and i'm around having a good time hope hi i'm hope lavelle you can follow me on twitter at the hope lavelle you can also listen to me play some more D, &D uh, on attackers of opportunity wherever you can find podcasts and megan Hey everyone, I'm Megan Kenrick, and you can find me on Twitch and Twitter at Megan Kenrick. Uh, Todd and I just started doing a new video series called Megan and Todd Talk D and D. We're releasing one video a week on Todd's channel. Uh, also, we just recently released uh, an item in the Vault of Magic, so be sure to check that out. And Todd. I am the dungeon master, uh, uh, theoretically, and I uh, <laughs> I also am the creative manager <laughs> over at Idol Champions, which is a wonderful video game and a wonderful company, uh, Codename Entertainment. And I have been doing D and D tutorial videos with my lovely wife Megan, and it will soon not be called Todd Kenrick uh, at YouTube. It'll be t called Todd and Megan Kenrick at YouTube, or some kind of iteration like that. Once I can get YouTube to allow me to change it, but yeah, it's, <laughs> we're having a great time just talking about D and D and having a good time. So it's great. That's it. All right. And I am Loki Slayer. No, unfortunately, I am Adam Bradford, the studio. <laughs> Loki at Demi enabler. Plane. I'm right yeah. there with you. 
<laughs> apparently enabler is a good good title there uh cdo here at demi plane and uh i think the thing i'll shout out for tonight is jasper's game week is coming up the first week of may i think everything's happening there uh several people who are here in the stream are participating in that there are seed auctions going on right now that will benefit the cause of suicide prevention and so i encourage everybody to get out there there's some great games i've got one with gail simona christina ariel and uh, Tony Winslow Brill uh, playing in that one. So uh, check those things out. And if you have the coin, then donate to that really worthy cause. And otherwise, as I said, we will be back here next week to see what on earth or what on Asgard in this case is going to actually happen now that we have completely given Mjolnir over to Loki. See you later. <laughs>